Hello, here's my vlog for you. Uh oh, my computer turned off. Yeah, it's for the um, 9th of December at 3.16 p.m. Saturday. I didn't do my video yesterday because I think I was just too busy working. And then I just passed out. Um, and now it's like 3.17. I'm like totally dire, nocturnalized. Um, it's pretty outside of the snow and everything without a cloud. Last night I, uh, I went to the store at like 10.30 in the morning, I think too, like through the snow for my energy drink. Cause they're only like a dollar 25, 26, monster. No rock star. And with the sugar, the ones without sugar are like 3.50, which is bizarre cause there's a sugar tax here. But um, yeah, I'm uh, I think I'm gay. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm like, holy shit, what have I uh, gotten myself into? Um, it took like a couple of weeks to do the, the bottom part, like 300 to 400. So that's 100 times 400. 1,200. Or whatever, a third of 120,000 and... So then I got started on the middle part, which is the same size. It's twice as long. I guess I could show it. But it's uh, half as wide, so uh, it's just as big. And I, so it's like two over weeks just on that, and then I have to do the top part. So it's like, and, I, and it's taking a lot longer on the other two sections because the first one is tracing it, and you can't go wrong when you trace it. Like even if you trace, you can just trace wherever you want. And you can't go wrong with the uh, copying them and putting them in the folders and then coloring them. But, yeah. <laughs> but then when it comes to um, numbering them, um, a lot can go wrong. Like last night, um, I started this one, 20 section one with the wrong number. It was like two... 20, it was like 101 instead of 121 where it just needed to be. And I did the, I did the next 20, the next 40 wrong. The one on that one and the one next one. Cause, cause whatever you do wrong after that, you have to fix everything. It's all wrong. So I had to redo 40 of them. I'm like, what the fuck? Because like I went in before to set up the top number so that I don't do it wrong. wrong. But that particular one didn't have one. Like, out of all of them, just that one. All the other ones dead. And somehow I, I did it with the wrong number. And I do... But I do the wrong number, like, in lots of different ways. Like, it's supposed to start on a one. Um, yeah, like, one, 21, 41, 61, 81, 101. And I'm doing, like, 101 to 21, 41... 161, 181, up to 200, because I was doing up to 400, but now I'm doing it just to half of the 200. And, uh, yeah, instead of starting, I uh, like, 121, I started at like 120 a bunch of times for no reason, or like 122, or then instead of 121, you know, one, 101 or something. And, and then when I do the, when I set the first number to make sure that everyone after that is right, I was doing that, that one wrong sometimes, because there's a lot of those. It gets like, almost exponentially harder, like, you start to like, totally, it almost becomes a certainty that you're going to make a mistake if you start concentrating, like, on the book you're reading too much, and you don't go into autopilot. Sometimes, man, you just make a mistake and you don't even catch yourself, you know, until it's too late. So, I mean, I guess it that's good because it means my autopilot's working, but... Um, so, I'm still working on Thomas Aquinas because it's just it's such a big book and it's kind of tedious because 
you know, he's just going through all of these, nitpicking through all of these different, like, morals that, like, it's, it, that was back in the days when, when law and religion were the same thing. And, um, and then we had to switch it, and so now America, like, we separate the two, and the, I think the Romans might find that a little peculiar. It makes sense once you explain it to them, but, um, I got the idea to, um, try to bring, uh, law and religion together again. Um, not, not to try to change the rules of America or anything, but for the sake of, yeah, for the sake of the legacy of Rome. Um, and they are intertwined. That's why people keep trying to mix them together. Um, uh, because he references, you know, religious leaders and political and like laws and religious laws. And um, it's actually a really good book to explain spiral dynamics because he's talking about, um, you know, how people's values change. You know, like in olden times when people are primitive, they need music. Like cavemen types, they need music to motivate them to do things. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because when you see movies... They never have, like, a flute player or a drummer in the background or a string guy, like, standing next to the boss with music, but that's what they used to do. And each different, like, polity, different types of uh, government would have a different type of music and everything, and people from different lands. So, like, they need to start making history movies, which is filled with music, but not, like, modern music. You know, like A Knight's Tale with, like, electric guitar playing over the the knights doing battle, but, but like the actual instruments that they would have used only really skillfully. That would be really cool. Um, but, um, uh, so yeah, just to, cause if you're going to write a book that compiles all the information, the opinions of all of the elect intellectuals for the past, past, I don't think you can't, you can't separate church and state. You have to kind of mix it all together because that's what they were doing. So anyway, uh, yeah, I totally want to do a, a continuum, uh, of with, uh, kind of like finish the book that they started where, um, all these guys referencing each other, all, every reference gets linked to where they're referencing. No, I, that's never been done before. That's a huge project, but that's something that I want to do. I started with Montesquieu with Plato. I, I ordered a bunch of new cars and I got some yesterday and I think maybe I'll get something there tomorrow. I went crazy and blew $370 on Matchbox cars from Amazon. All the fancy ones, the expensive ones, like for, for movies and stuff. Because I wanted to fill up all of my... I bought those cases. I'm going to put the cases on the edge on the end of my shower. So... Maybe those will come today, but... Um, at least I'm paying a thousand down every month on my big card. With the big interest that kicks in. That I used to buy my car stereo with last year. Um, I only have 1700 on that, so... Anyways, um, yeah, I was, like, overworking to the point that I'm, I'm not even, like, eating right, and I'm starting to have health problems, so I need to, like, chill out a little bit and stop, like, getting stressed out about this thing. This is just a big project. I knew it was going to be big when I walked into it, and I am, and I am moving through it. Um, when I explained to my mom, she always, like, just screamed at me, like, nobody cares. I'm like, what do you know? You're 81 years old. Maybe nobody, nobody cares enough to do it themselves like I do, but people will care enough to look at it. Anyways, um, I love how the smartphones now are doing great with uh, Google Earth files. It's perfect for my website, so the first thing I'm going to do when I have this up for upload is to see how it looks on my phone. Um, and I have gigabit internet, and I think they may, I might even do 10 gig internet. 
I don't know, man. Maybe it'll all work out really well. Anyways, I'm going to try to have a big breakfast instead of work. I usually just get to work. I'm going to try to feed myself so I don't get sick. And then, um, and then, uh, get going. <laughs> I don't even have any goals, really, because I don't really know where I am. And the, um, because I went down on the evens, and then I, and then I went back up on the odds, and so I'm like, where am I? Like, now I'm just on the odds trying to catch up with the evens, but I can't remember where they are. And I hope that the computer, this, is an, um, this would be the ultimate nightmare, because I don't know where I am, and this is like the worst when that happens. You really want to know where you are, because, with Google Earth, because, like when I, when I opened my computer today, um, it had gone into sleep, right? I clicked on, hello, computer, wake up. And I had to do my password and everything. And then my computer woke right up back to where it was and everything. But what if my computer one night does like a, just like a system update or something while I'm sleeping and I don't realize it. And then I get up the next morning and I'm like, okay, hi computer. And the computer wakes right up and everything. And then I go to my Google Earth and I start working on my, the problem with that is if the computer re redoes itself in the night without me knowing, what it's going to do is it's going to open up all the programs without me knowing, including Google Earth. Only this time, because Google Earth got like rebooted, it's going to open up the Google Earth file that I've been working on from a month ago. And then I'm going to work on it a little bit and then I'm going to save it saving over a month of work. That's what Google Earth does, it's like a glitch. There's another glitch, it's happened to me a bunch of times, to the point where I just had to turn into a goddamn like a ninja, the way that I was saving and like remembering. And, um, and I was thinking maybe that happened here, because I'm like, didn't I already do that? So I don't know, I don't wanna get stuck in some like uh, Groundhog Day loop where I'm like, I could have sworn it, because I don't even know what the fuck I'm not getting. So, um, yeah, because like with Google Earth also, another thing that happens is um, when I'm like numbering, um, if I like mouse over or accidentally click or whatever, a number, and then I would mouse over, like leave the field to Google Earth or something, and then go back into Google Earth, even if I'm not even touching the mouse, if I'm just scrolling the mouse, and I never even touched this or held this or anything, I'm just scrolling. As soon as I scroll back into the field, it will drop the file that it thought that I clicked over to wherever I moved in the field. And all I will see is this like flash on the Google Earth and then, and then like a line that just sticks there. And I'm like, did that thing just drag one of my files without me knowing it? Like from some glitch where it would just, just from me touching it, it's just like, oh, you want me to drag it here to here? Like, it, like usually you have to hold the thing down to drag it. But with the glitch, you don't have to hold it. All you have to do is just move, accidentally move the thing. I don't know how that happens. It's something that you do, like, and I don't think it's a perfect, I don't think it's like something that programmed it. I think mean, it's a glitch, like, it happens a lot. And so then I have to go in and like click and make sure it's in order. And like, this happened like a dozen times. And sure enough, it's out of order because this little thing got drugged and dropped just because I was like moving the mouse around. So, um, so then I have to fix it. And so, you know, somebody might ask, well, why don't you pay like some Indian or somebody to do this for you? It's the tedious, easiest work. Well, number one, I don't have the money. It costs forever. It costs like a shitload of money. And I'm a good worker. And like a normal person couldn't just sit and grind this out. And I'd feel bad for somebody to have to go through this. But um, number two, they wouldn't do it right. Because there'd be all these little glitches and they wouldn't notice. They'd see a flash. They'd be like, whatever, they keep numbering. And then when you go in, there would be all of these like numbers that are there twice or out of place and it would screw up the process of building all the different things you want to build, like all the different battles or configurations of people. And it would make it almost undoable. So um, I just want to make you know, 100% for sure that it's done perfectly because it's 160,000 people all numbered. And that's that, it's kind of like your genome. It offers a lot of opportunity for uh, a glitch. And I don't want there to be any glitches. I just want it to be perfect because once it's built right, it'll be built forever. And, you, and then you can build the stuff off it and never have anything to worry about. Plus, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a little bit of a vacation for me because I'm only using like this much of the screen. 
because I can't. If I use the whole screen, every time I click on something, it'll be moving Google Earth around, and it'll be like distracting me. So I have to get it out of the, the, the field of vision. So even, even though, even, so I've got all this area here that I can, I can like watch whatever I want, you know, porn and stuff, so. Um, so, um, and UFC fights and stuff, I would never have the time to watch, so. Um, whatever, and it's not really getting in the way, but, but it does add more things to my brain, right? So I'm like, listen to the book, and then I'm watching like this UFC fight or whatever, and, or a girl deadlifting 400 pounds, and um, in her bikini, and, um, and at the same time, I'm having to do my work, dude. Like, that's why this is taking so much longer, because like, I'm making so many goddamn mistakes. But whatever. Um, um, it's so cold out, I think, right now that I'll just call my mom and be like, hey, what's up? And then get back to work. I have to check my mail. They were saying that um, they needed proof that I switched out my electricity and they never got it. My mom was managing this place for me because it was owned by my brothers and I. But my mom was like almost 82 and like nothing goes right anymore. Like she's too loopy. I can't do anything right anymore, so they gave me the apartment. And because her house, whenever she dies in 10 years or whatever, her third of the house, when she gives it to their kids, like my share of it is, the, is this exact amount of as like my share in this place or something. So if they give me my place, then I don't, don't inherit my, my third of my mother's place. It all equals out the same, so that's why they just gave me my place. And so now, um, I guess I have to deal with that stuff, all that business stuff, the taxes and everything. But I get to keep the rent from the roommate. So I don't. In the end, um, in the end, um, I think it's, it's yeah. It's I think I'm a little bit better off with money now because of that. Um, anyways, um. So that's 17 minutes. Uh, yeah, I didn't do a video yesterday. Maybe that's why I talked in a long time today. Um, I should pick up my room, my living room. There's like papers everywhere. My ferrets are just, they just, you have to have everything buttoned down if you live with ferrets. They destroyed my two, my two, um, my three humidifiers for my, <laughs> for my Savannah monitor because I kept knocking it over and burning them out. And so now I have to like, like buy another ones when I have the money, not now. I have a Savannah monitor in there. I, I got those when I had a Tegu and a uh, red foot tortoise who need 80% humidity and the Savannah monitor, I guess only needs 50. So I just pour water. I don't even use a humidifier. I just pour water in the dirt, call it a day. But whenever I have the money, I'll get more and I'll have to like latch those things down so that the ferret can't do anything to it. Because the ferrets, man, as they get older, they get these like little intelligence upgrades and they, they learn, all of a sudden they'll learn how to cause more problems in your house. And once they learn something, then they're just hooked on it. And then they'll just keep doing it over and over again. Until they get bored, like they were causing problems jumping up inside of my animal cages for a while and then they stopped doing that, so. Anyway, um, that's enough talking. Um, I'm gonna go try to get some food. And I'll check my email to make sure that that proof is fine because I want to get a fine. And uh, yeah, and then get get back to my book. Um, oh, my phone. I don't know how much is left on Sumo, but I've been working on for three years. I've also been watching YouTube videos. They have a YouTube channel dedicated just to that book. So I wanted to watch all what those like dudes in the funky Catholic outfits were saying about it and everything. Um, it's probably the father of theology. I don't know how big his book is, but I'm putting it on my website. All the titles are on there already. It's probably like thousands of pages. Anyways, um, that's enough talking. Talk to you tomorrow.